This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your livestock roundup. It has been a relatively quiet session here in the live cattle and feeder cattle. There has not been a whole lot of new developments on the cash side of things. We wouldn't be surprised to see that coming steady to possibly slightly lower than last week. Last week we saw the bulk of cash coming in at about 107. Now as far as the technicals go, we're looking at a failure above key technical resistance earlier in the week. We've defined this as 110.25 to about 110.60. This represents trend line resistance from August as well as the 200 day moving average. The inability to break out above that has encouraged some long liquidation. We're starting to round out a little bit, marking lower highs followed by lower lows. On the support side of things, 107.65 to 108 is going to be the pocket the bulls must defend. A break and close below there accelerates the selling. It takes us closer towards 105. Now, as far as the feeder cattle are concerned, a little bit more constructive, but still trading right here at the top end of the range. And from the risk reward perspective, the top end of the range is where you want to take a stab at the short side because you know your limited risk above the highs. So if we break back down below that 151.20, which represents the top end of the range and the 50 day moving average, I wouldn't be surprised to see sellers step in, long liquidation ensue, and press us back down towards the 100 and 200 day moving average, as well as the key Fibonacci retracement, about 148 to 148. 50. Now wrapping things up with the lean hogs. Lean hogs is where all the attention has been at today. We've got October front month futures trading at limit up, which is a little bit surprising. I would have thought that the deferreds would play a little bit of catch up, but they're lagging. But we still like the deferreds on a longer term picture, especially if the swine flu continues to break out in China. The way to handle this market and to stomach the volatility is potentially to look at some call options. You know your risk and it gives you some pretty good exposure. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.